to take us, but we take your time. We were prepared today. We were prepared. Oh, come on. Oh God, quickenings. I love you, Jesus. Rosa Baba Kasi Rosi. Thank you, Jesus. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. Hmm. Come on. Shabari Kosalasi. My peace. My peace. Yes, yes. My How many have experienced Jehovah Shalom? Come on. My peace. My peace. My peace. It's the name he gave me this morning. Jehovah Shalom. Hmm. My peace. My peace. There's a peace that surpasses all understanding oh, that can only be found in Jehovah Shalom. Come on. Come on. Anybody know who Jehovah Shalom is? Come on, come on. Anybody have, I have a banner of peace displayed for them? Come on. In the midst of trouble and tribulation. Banner of peace being displayed for you. Yes. Jehovah Shalom. Yes, God. Anybody ever had to tell him, pass me not, oh gentle Savior? Oh. Hear my humble cry. While on others thou art calling. I know you're calling everybody else, but I want you not to pass me by. Yes, come on. Somebody say, Savior. Savior, hear my humble cry. Yes. So while on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. Yeah. Come on, come on. I, I felt that so strongly this morning. Jehovah Shalom mm. spoke to me all night. Mm. 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 My peace. Come on. My peace. My mm. peace. Give you peace on the boat if you let him. See, the problem with the disciples is they didn't let him give him to give them the peace. Yes. The problem with the disciples when they were on the boat is that fear interrupted the peace. Yes. Come on, I, I'm, I'm saying something. Come on. Already, the fear interrupted the peace. Yes, it did. The doubt interrupts the peace. Mm -hmm. And so Jehovah Shalom has to step in to remind you of who He is. Yeah. Come on, He's more than just a God. Come on, somebody. He's more than just a capital G God. I know this morning that's Jehovah Shalom, my peace. Come on, come on. He specifically said that to me, and I just, oh God. My Savior. My peace, I'm your peace. In the time of trouble, I'm your peace. In the time of calmness, I'm just your peace. I'm just your peace. Come on. Yes, mm -hmm. God. Oh God, we love you, God. Help me, help me today, God. Help me, Holy Ghost. Yeah. Help me, Holy Ghost. <laughs> Let me look up. Come on. Yeah. My peace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My peace. Mm -hmm. My peace. You know, I got so angry this morning about people talking about the church. Mm -hmm. Get angry when people talk about church hurt. Yeah. The thing that you sent me today, or somebody, Jesus has been hurt so much mm -hmm. that he shouldn't, he, he should be the one not coming to church, but he always shows up to church. Yeah. Yeah. And the people are talking about how hurt they are about church. Come on. But corporate, look at what corporate worship affords you. That's why I don't forsake the, the fellowship of the saints. Look at what corporate worship has afforded you. Yes. Yeah. Look what it does for you. Look how the Lord speaks to you. Yeah. Look how the Lord visits you. Yeah. What, what a mighty God we serve. <laughs> what a mighty God we serve. Yeah. Yeah. What, what a mighty God we serve. Woman of God, when you walked in, I knew God wanted to break chains you, chains off of you. Mm -hmm. I knew he wanted to break chains. And I'm not putting your business out in the street. That's not what I'm doing. I'm just saying the chains that the Lord wants to break. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Can you can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear go go up close? The chains that the Lord wants to break off of your life has something to do with your past and your family. And what happens is, and I want everybody to hear this because what happens is is we just grow up with the way that it was. 
And God wants to change that in you. He wants to change it through you. He showed me how different you were when you came in. Can you hear me okay? Show me how different you were when you came in. You're different from the others. And they look at you and they expect to get who they are, but you're different. So you've got to show them who you are through Christ Jesus. You've got to show them the way that it is now in you. When you come back to this church, because you will come back, and when you come back, we will dance because you do want to dance. Come on, you want to break free from that. And it's okay. Listen, when you break free, we'll break free with you. See, this is what the real church is. You, you've been looking for what the real church is. Come on. Didn't know how to ask for it, but you've been looking for what it is, and God is trying to show it to you. Not just here at the filling station, but he's trying to show you the real church through his word. Through your deeds, through your actions, through what you do. He's trying to show you the real church. Don't forsake what you see. Don't forsake what you hear. Don't forsake what you feel. That's all God. Because he's trying to show you. He wants to break up what you know and bring you into the new. He don't care about your age. He wants to break up what you know and bring you into the new. The real church will arise and you will see it. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Don't forsake to give him a hand. Don't forsake to give him a hand. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. But God is going to show her the real church. He's going to Amen. show her the real church. Because when they were talking about the church today, I got so angry about that. Because why is the church on why is the church on fire? Put the people on fire. Don't put the church on fire. Put right. the people where they belong. Don't put the church in a box. Put no. the people where they belong. Put the pastor, the Bible, the Jeremiah, the Lord put the pastors where they belong in Jeremiah 23. Put the people where they belong. Don't forsake the church. Don't not come back to the body. If thousands of churches in Las Vegas, pick one that the Lord is in and sit your butt in it and get instructed by him. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. God is not pleased with that. He's, you know what else he's not pleased with? He's not pleased with the Christians talking about the house of God like they don't know what it is or what it needs to be. Yeah. Mm. That's where the ridicule is coming from, from the Christians. <laughs> the ridicule is not coming from the world. Notice in the Bible, the ridicule didn't come from the world. It came from the Pharisees and, and the, the Sadducees. Sadducees. And they were informing and influencing the people to do what God was not telling them to do. Yes. The Pharisees and Sadducees are people in leadership mm -hmm. with the, the, the clothing and the collars. Yes. Come on, somebody. Amen. That's why whenever we talk about the clergy gear, mm -mm, this Come is my on. clergy oh, gear right here, right. man. More right. red because of the blood. Because I need you to know what the real, real blood representative is. Come on. What a real blood walker is. What a, a real narrow walker is. Come on. Blood stain walker. Come on. Come on. I showed her the vocal size. Come on. They don't know. Come on. <laughs> Help us hold the God. Listen, listen. We, we, we've got to stop that. We, we, we've got to stop. The church has got to stop that. The church is, is not a religious building. No, the church is Jesus. The church is you. The church is me. And so when you start talking about the church, you're talking about me. Yeah. Yes. Talk about the demons in the church all you want to, but do not talk about the church. Come on. Come on. I, I have really strong feelings about that. Really strong feelings and get a catch of attitude. Mm. Get mad. Because there's a heathenistic spirit going on. Okay, Holy Ghost. Okay, I got you. I got you. Okay, so 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 when the man said to Jesus, I believe. Uh-huh. But I need you to help my unbelief. Come on, help yes. me. What is the spirit of unbelief? Doubt. We, we've heard the scripture a lot. Doubt. In Mark and in Matthew, this account was told. And in both settings, there was an argument going on prior to the little boy being healed. And so did we have to, who was the argument with? The Pharisees and the Sadducees. And those who thought they knew what was going on. Come on. Right. Those who thought they knew. Jesus came up and said, what are you guys arguing about? Because right. it's, it's really starting to get on my nerves. Because all this talk in the town, ain't nobody got no power to heal the little boy, but everybody arguing about what, what can be oh. done here. And the man is steady telling you that this boy is, is putting himself in fires. He got a lunatic spirit. Uh, somebody got to do something here. Right. Jesus heals the boy. You notice in the story. Let, let's go, let me just, let me, where's the story about? Mark 9 and 24. 20, something like that. Let, let's just get in there. <laughs> Come on. Because I, I want you to see Come on. what what happened here. 
Yeah. Mm hmm Mark 9. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Study the and word. So, and so when 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 the boy came and Jesus was talking to the man was talking to Jesus, telling Jesus what was going on. You notice Jesus never addressed the man. Come on. Are y'all come on? He never addressed the man. He addressed the situation. We, we, we always want to address the man. No, we need to address the situation. Either you're gonna do something about it or you are not. Father, in Jesus' name, just commit my life to you right now. Yes. Fill my mouth with blood that it may fill the lives of the people. Come on. Mm. Fill their spirits and their systems. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. Use me as a vessel. We don't want to bruise the scriptures and we don't want to bruise the revelation that you've given, that you so diligently taught me. In Jesus' name. Amen. I want you to look at this. This Come on, I, I feel such a strong presence of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Because, because what the Bible says is right. Let's start at 22. Because we already know the conversation is going on. 9 and 22. Mark 9 and 22. At all times it has cast him in, in, into the fire and into the waters to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us and help us. That's what the man said to Jesus. Let me show you how Jesus never addressed the man. He said, Jesus said unto him, if thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believe. Now my son's sick. And that's all you got to say? Come on, come on. Come and straightway the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe, but help thou my unbelief. And when Jesus saw the people running together, he rebuked the foul spirit. Come on, that's all it was. It was, it was just a foul spirit. You know anybody with a foul spirit that just need to be rebuked by, rebuked by you, the church? That's that's it. It. You, you, the church. You're the church. Jesus, when he left here, before he left here, he said, greater work shall ye do. And so if you've got that kind of power, then you need to start opening your mouth and rebuking those five spirits that you're seeing in the household of faith. Come on, come on. I know. Come on. you saying something. That's real. That's real. Come on. So he says here, <laughs> he says here, the vile spirit saying unto him, thou dumb and deaf spirit. Come on, I got King James. It's real words. Come on. I got deaf and dumb. Deaf, dumb and deaf spirit. Come on. I charge thee, Rusa. come out of him. Come come on. On. Come on. No more unto yeah. him. Come yeah. Come out of him and enter no more unto come on. him. Come on. It's done. It's sealed. It's finished. Come, Come out on. of him and enter no more unto him. And, y'all looking at this? And enter yeah. no more. He commanded him to come out. And enter no more unto him. Come on. What's the spirit of unbelief? Come on. 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 Come you, you, you got a you, you got a heathen in you that, that that's still paganistic that still does not believe in the principles of God. If he addressed the man and he said unto him, "If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believe it." So if you can't believe, it's not possible to you. But if you can believe, it is possible to you. Come out of him and go into him no more. Does everybody believe that? Everybody didn't have to be in agreement. You know why? Because Jesus walked in a divine nature. He walked in a divine authority with power that came from on high. Amen. Come on. Come on, somebody. Well, see, I, don't, I don't got lost in, 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 the own, in my own sauce here. You in the sauce, see 26. In my own sauce here. The, the, the heathenism. It, 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 it's, it's, it's heathening and, and, and leaning to your own understanding. Like we said last week in Proverbs 3 and 5. That's why, that's why Solomon said lean not Come to on. your own understanding. Because if you're leaning, that means you have a heathenistic spirit. That thing makes you sad. And you can't get your, your, yourself together. Maybe because you are leaning to your own understanding. Uh -huh. Come on, somebody. Come on. Yeah. You, you got like a hydraulics in your come face come that, that, that tips over. Come on, oh God. And you need a switch to tip you back up straight. Come, come on, on now. Come, come on, on the sis. When they have that, that hydraulics. Come, come on, on, sis. <laughs> That's that heathen spirit. Come on. It even look heathenistic on the road. But then when they put that switch on it, they can straighten up and drive right. Come on. Yeah, Come on. Straighten Come on. up. So the heathen is just for the show. Come on. Yeah. Put, hit the switches on them. Straighten up and. <laughs> Come on, Pastor. Can I tell you something here? Faith is a substance. We know that. Yes, it mm -hmm. is. Come on. Things hoped for, evidence of things unseen. We know that. We know that. That's, that's, that's Christianity 101. We know that. But your belief is a system. 
But God is wanting the two to meet together. He wants your faith to line up with your belief. Uh -huh. I want to show you how. Come on, come on. But your, 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 your faith is a substance. He, hear me now. Hear me now. And, 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 and belief is a system. Heathens still believe. Come on. <laughs> Sinners still believe. Sinners have more faith than some of the Christians. That's true. Let me show you how. Let me show you how. Look how look how uh, Wall Street is being blessed. Do you see any of those people going to church? Do nope. you see any of those people tithing? Come on, come on, come on. You see such corrupt behavior in Washington, D.C. and in New York City because they still have faith. Mm -hmm. They still have faith and money gives them power. And so when they begin to invest, they have faith that they're going to get a return. Yes. And they end up getting a return. That's why the rich keep getting richer. Mm -hmm. Come on, are y'all hearing me? I, I want y'all to hear me here. Heathens still believe, and some of them have all the faith. Let's go to Matthew uh, 17. I just want to show you something about your faith today. You ever heard this? I, I just want the Lord to increase my faith. Yeah. Everybody, anybody ever heard that? Yeah. Come on, can we kill that lie today? Yeah. Can we kill that? And I know we talked about it in this church before because I want the people to be informed about who they are in Christ Jesus, who you yeah. are in Christ yeah. Jesus. Yeah. My faith can't hold you. My faith can hold me. Come on, your right. faith can hold you, but you need to know what your faith contains of. Yes. Mm-hmm. You need to know you don't you don't need to increase your faith. God don't need to increase your faith. Right. Come on. He, he don't need to do that. Go to seven, Matthew 17. Are we there? 15. The same story is here. Uh-huh. Lord have mercy on my son, for he is a lunatic. Sore and sore vexed sometimes. Often he falleth into the fire and, and often to the water. And I brought him to the disciples, and they could not cure him. And then Jesus said unto, un, unto them, oh, faithless and perverse generation. Okay. Then he just talked about being faithful. This is a faithless generation, and it's a perverse generation. He says, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him unto me. Jesus is mad now. He says, and Jesus rebuked the devil and departed out of him, and the child was cured from that very hour. Then came the disciples, and, and, and they see, that's what the body, some people do. They want to have a side conversation. Mm -hmm. Well, why couldn't we do what you did? Jesus said unto them, because you uh, uh, have a spirit of unbelief. You, 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 you don't believe. Verily I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, ye shall say to this mountain, remove to yonder place. Come on. And it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible to you. How be it this kind not go out but by prayer and by fasting? If you got the mustard seed, you can you can move them. You can speak to the mountain and say, move here, move there, move here. But if if, if you got that kind of faith, you can't move about the city. You right. just got faith to come on. The seed only helps you move the mountain. Come on, can I take you deeper in your faith than that? Can can we go deeper in your faith than that? Come on, how many believe in God for some things that only takes your faith? Only takes your faith, only takes your faith. But he said, only the mustard seed is going to remove the mountain. You can speak to it, and it's gonna move, it's gonna be destroyed, all of that. But you cannot move about the cabin, as the as the as the airline, as the pilot says. You cannot move about the cabin. You can get on a plane, we can get you to the next destination, but you cannot move about the cabin without what we can ready to give you right here. Come on. Are we listening here? Come on. Man. So he says, How do I keep? This is what the Lord asked me, and I asked him, how do I keep this kind of faith, God? How, how, how do you want me to keep this kind of faith? Well, he said, go over to 2 Peter. If, 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 the, if, it's, if, it's, if, 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 if faith is a substance and the belief is a system, what, what, let me just, can I just tell you how a system works? EBT. Come on. Snap. Ooh, snap. Whatever, whatever, it is, whatever they call it, they got all these different acronyms for it now. When, they, when, that, when that money drops in the card, that's a system that's being released. And so now your faith is taking you to, to, to the grocery store because you already know it's on there. Come on, so go on and get the shrimp, swipe, put your debit, your, your, your PIN number in, you're good to go. Come on, that's what happens there. That's what happens. But I want to show you what the Lord is calling us to here. Second Peter, are we there? Yes. Mm -hmm. Second Peter. Uh, let, let, let's just read this. Let's, let's start from 
uh, from uh, chapter one, and we're going to go to verse four. Whereby are given unto us uh -huh. exceeding great and precious promise. Come on, mm -hmm. Come on. That, that's what we just we received go. in praise and worship. Great and pre precious promises. Come on, because yeah. he that's promised he said. to set me free. Yes, yeah. he did. He promised. He said, "He who the Son has set free is free indeed." Come on. Come on. He said, I'll never leave you or forsake, forsake you. Come on, come, come on. Come, come, so, so great and precious promises have already been given to us. Yes. He said but that, that these might be partakers of the divine nature. That's the part. Come, I just told you Jesus had a divine nature. And so if great precious promises are given to us, I'm, I'm already part of the divine nature. I'm trying to take you. God, just, you said I could take you deep in your faith. I'm just trying to take you deep in your faith. And having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Mm, come on, there it is. There it is. Here we go. Degeneration come on. is what the Bible says. Mm. Then he says here, and beside this, giving all diligence, add to your Hey, did you see that? You don't have to ask the Lord to increase it anymore because it's your job to add to your faith. This is Peter talking to you. This is before Peter got converted. Right, is anybody? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He says that the kingdom of heaven is the system that you need to add to your faith from. Come on, that's it. <laughs> add to your faith virtue. Virtue is devotion. Come on, somebody. Is anybody listening? Uh, 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 others need to, to, to change. It, it, it's the ethics that people need to change when they see you. Come on, when you tell them, like this woman of God right here, she can go around and tell them, listen, I'm a woman of God. I don't do those kinds of things. The whole atmosphere will change. And if it don't change, then she needs to bounce. Because they don't respect me anymore. They don't respect God anymore. And so if they don't respect that, I'm out. Come on, somebody. We can't keep sitting in places like that no more. Do you know the Christians are the only people that are bowed down to the world? We're the only people that will bow down to the world because we're trying to be nice. Jesus wasn't nice. He said, shake the dust off your feet and bounce. I'm out. Yeah. I'm out. They don't have no faith in this town. I'm out. Take me to the next town where some miracles can be really wrong. Come on. Come on. I got time. I my mama time. really don't believe in me, so I got to leave the house. I, I can't stand Capernaum no more. I got to go to Galilee. Come on, come on. I I, I need to move. Come on. Right. Make, <laughs> ah, come on. That's real. He said, add to your faith virtue, and to and to virtue you need to add knowledge. What is your knowledge? That your facts. Come on. Facts. It's come your on. grip on the word. Come on. It, 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 it's your knowledge base. Uh, you got to expand your knowledge base. The Bible says faith come by hearing, hearing come by the word. You got to get the word in you if you want your faith added to. Are you are you hearing me? You see how you can be around here talking about, ooh, I just need to look, I just need a little bit more faith. No, no ma'am. No ma'am. No, sir. You have to word. add to your faith. It's come your on. job. This is this is where you come in at right here. Amen. See, let me give you an analogy. If I'm gonna go get a house, come on. The mustard seed is me going down there looking at the place. Yes. Amen. This is for me. Ooh, glory. I can dance around it all I want to. All I want but to. I need to add to my faith a lender. Come on. Come on. And when I add the lender, the knowledge right there is going to say, get your credit together. Mm -hmm. And then when I get my credit, come on, see yourself. The faith is still working, but I'm adding to it. Come on, somebody. I'm adding to it. That's why, that's why James said, uh, uh, faith without works is dead. Yeah. You've got to work at this. Is anybody listening here? Come on. I told you last week it's time for the people of God to be blessed. Right. But if we don't know how to get there, we'll never get there. Right. I just said something right there. If we don't know how to get there, we will never get there. That's We've got real. to add knowledge. And to knowledge, temperance. That's patience with people. Yes, it is. No, I just said something right here. That's what it is. That's sense. patience with people. I tell you, man, I don't have temper. I, I just don't have the temperament for that. And I don't. I, I have a really low tolerance for foolishness. I just do. I, I don't care who it's coming from. I don't care. It, it could be a baby that's going to set up here and got on my neck. I just have a low tolerance for the foolishness. <laughs> and so the temperance is what the Lord is trying to get us to get. That temperance goes along with long suffering and forbearing one another and, 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 and just, just being there for one another when, they, when, we, when we need them. See, that's what, that's what people are saying that the church lacks. It lacks compassion. Well, the devil is a liar because my Jesus died for all of us. Come on, right, come on. Come on, come on. I'm, I'm wrapping it up. I'm wrapping it up. I'm wrapping it up. Sobriety. It, it, it's abstinence. Temperance is, is sobriety and absence. You got to meet people with a sober mind. Yes, you do. That means when they start asking you questions, the Bible says you need to be ready to give an answer of the hope that lies within you at any time. Within you. Sober minded. Come on. Come on, somebody. Amen. 
Not tripped out, not tripped out. Sober minded. They just not, see, not just talking about sober from drugs or alcohol. I need to be clear in the head to be able to answer you and tell you about the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Amen. He says, after I add the temperance, I need to add the patience. And to patience, I need to add the godliness. And here we go, here we go, here we go. The devotion, the honor, the zeal. Mm -hmm. I, I've got to add that to you. When, when, when the man of God was up here uh, 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 preaching, because I don't know if that was Sunday school or not. I don't know what that was. But, but, but when he was up here, you could feel the zeal of God coming from him. Yes, you can. You, you can feel, you can, you can see it beaming from his shirt. Come on, you got to open up your third eye so you can see. Come on. But Paul said, I wish that above all things that you would prophesy. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. That's what he said. If that's the gift that you got, I wish, if you got another gift, okay, man, amen, praise the Lord, you can sing. But I wish above all the gifts oh, that you have, that you would have the gift of prophecy so you can see what the Lord is getting ready to do. Are y'all listening? Mm -hmm. Is anybody reading the Pauline letters? Come on, did anybody get that from the letter? Come on. I wish above all of these things, all the gifts that you have, that you would learn to prophesy. Yeah, that's what he said. Open up your third eye so you can really see what the Lord has for his people and for you. You can see when the end times will be here, what needs to be going on. Come on. The locusts that's in the city, they are quoting it to, Come on. To, 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 to the weather and all that kind of come stuff. On. No, ma'am. No, sir. No, come sir. On. The come Lord on. is on his way back. Come on. That's what it is. Come no, on. No, sir. Come on. You know, you, you're trying to talk about, well, you know, they'll be gone another week. You know, we had a wet winter and a wet spring. No, ma'am. No, sir. You Why did it snow in Las Vegas? Because the Lord is coming back. <laughs> Come on. Storms are the beginning of sorrows. Snow for days. Come on, it in did. February. Yeah. Continually. Yeah. We and got it. more rain this year than we've gotten in the last 10 years. Yes. Are we paying attention to what the Lord is doing in this Yeah, world? yeah, yeah. Come on. The Bible says the saints should not shake. Come on. The saints should know. The yeah. Bible says nothing should sneak up on the saints because the saints should know. Come on, I, am I getting yes, too excited? Yes, am I too loud? No, come on. I need to turn my mic down. No. Because the saints shall know. Mm. How are we going to judge the world and we don't know what the books say about the world? Ooh. Come How are we going to judge the people of God when we don't know what God says about his people? Come on, somebody. Come on now. Come on. You better preach. Godliness. Godliness. The devotion, the honor, the zeal. The John the Baptist anointing. That's what, that's, what, that's what he told me that godliness was. It's a John the Baptist anointing. Uh-huh. Because did nobody like John? Everybody thought he was crazy. Mm -hmm. You wear your hair crazy. You don't eat right. What right. Is it? What, is it? what are you wearing? You ain't got nothing on but, 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 but the bottom part. Why, 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 why don't you have on any clothes? Because I'm declaring the day of the Lord. He said, behold, repent. The, the, the kingdom of God is at hand. Yes, he did. The kingdom of God is on his way. Mm -hmm. Come on, John knew. Who Jesus was. Yeah. Come on. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Come on. Made him leap. Take you back to, 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 to when he was in his mama's come, come on. He was come on. Come John on. was about to be a stillborn. Come yeah. On somebody. But Mary came to the house, walked for all those days, walked for all those hours just to wake John up in the belly of Mary. Yes, and when he was born, he said, I'm the forerunner for Christ. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Oh, God. One that's coming that I don't have the power, the strength to even, I'm not even worthy to buckle his sandals up. Oh, bye, bye, God, yeah. As soon as he said that, Jesus walked on the scene and said, baptize me. Come on. Yes, he did. It is written. Why, honey and locusts, and you and me, Come on. dip me. Hi, yes, yes, dip yes. Dip me, John. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Dip me, John. Come on. Oh, bless your name, God. So I can arise. So we all can hear the voice of the Lord say, this is my beloved son. In whom I am and well pleased. Hear ye him. God made a public announcement right there. Come on, somebody. come on, crack the he sky. The sky right yes, he did. Go, yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Godliness. Come Godliness. on. <laughs> oh, God. After godliness, you need to add brotherly kindness. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Brotherly kindness is not being weak and nice. Right. It's kindness. That's it. Did y'all hear what I said? Kind, being, being kind is not being nice. 
Sometimes the Christian mistake being kind. Well, you know what? What would Jesus do? Jesus would rebuke them. Right. right. Come on. What would Jesus do? Jesus would chastise them. Because the Bible says the love of God comes with chastisement. Yes, it does. And if we can't chastise our brother, our sister in Christ, then something ain't right. Right. I know I just said something right there. Something ain't right. Something ain't right with you. Not in them. Something ain't right with you. Because children, when you start disciplining your children, they enjoy discipline. Come on, I was a te- we studied that. I used to be a teacher, and and and, and I would discipline all the time because I didn't want to have I didn't want to be dealing with y'all anyway like that. And so and so when I begin to discipline the kids, they they respect authority more. Yes, they, yes, We're they do. A generation now that don't have no respect for authority. Come on, I'm not gonna whoop them. Well, you're not reading the Bible because the Bible says that you should train them up Come with on. your belt. And spoil him not because you're sparing his life when you discipline him. Come on, bring him to me. I whoop him. Come on. That's what the Bible says. Come on. I don't whoop my kids. You're not reading the Bible. Something is wrong with you. You don't. I don't discipline my kids. I'm just gonna talk to him. Come on. Because time out is not in John, Peter, Luke, Matthew. It ain't nowhere in here. No, it ain't. It ain't. (laughs) It ain't. Come on. Kindness. Got brotherly kindness. Come on. You, you, you understand how you what, what what you need to be adding to your faith. Now, how much of 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 you know scripture? Wait a minute. I just sat up here and got lost in my own sauce here, God. And and, and, to, and to brotherly kindness, my Bible says charity. Charity is love. Mm-hmm. Come on. I, this this is the biggest one right here. Because the the people shall know we're Christians by our love that we show one toward one another. Our love that we show one, one toward one another. But, but why are the churches empty? Why are some churches full and some churches empty? Uh-huh. But because the Christians don't have the love that yeah. they need to have towards one to another. Do you notice how things have become so commercial and so competition yeah. and so this bound and that bound and this bound and that bound? Everybody's talking about the same thing. Everybody's talking about the things that's making people flip over. I'm telling you, people came and then just run up and say, Peter, my jelly! And people, yeah! Where's the revelation? Come on. That's real. <laughs> That's real. Where's the revelation? You can't sensationalize me because I know who Jesus is. Come on. You can't sensationalize the word because I know what the spirit is. Come, Come on. on. What you saying? What you, you can't saying? keep me in bondage because I know what liberation is. Come on. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Yeah, that's what it say. Come on. You right. How much scripture do you know while you talking about you love people? Come on. How much, how, much, how much of the word are you giving people while you talking about you love God? Come on. Come on. You, we, we've got to give people the word. I know Kurt Franklin had a video, and I don't know if y'all saw it. This man was giving him all kind of scripture. Yeah. And just pretty much rebuking him. I seen and it. Rebuking him and going in and going in on him and going off on him. And I love you, Kurt, but what part of you got stuck that you didn't know what the Bible said? Right, right. What part of you got stuck? When you felt like when you know he was wrong and your delivery was wrong. Jesus didn't have a certain way he delivered. He just stood left foot and delivered. And called people demons and devils. You're a generation of vipers and thieves. Say you get behind me. Peter, you ain't nothing but the devil. Get behind me. What kind of way did you want him to deliver the word to you? How long we gonna play with this senseless generation like this? 